Hello, I'm George Maitland, I'm a contributing editor at Light Reading, and I'm here with George Karam, the Chief Executive Officer of Sequans, the uh, provider of 4G and 5G uh, chips for IoT. George, the, the company's recently begun providing modules uh, as well as chips and has engaged uh, Avnet and RFPD as distribution partners. Uh, what's your strategy behind this move and how will this accelerate adoption of mass market IoT? Uh, indeed, you know, when, when you look to the mass market IoT, George, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a special market because it's very, very fragmented. It's a huge market. Uh, there is even, I used to say that there is some piece of it, call it like dark pipe, that a lot of application, new application emerging, uh, but also some existing well-known application where in the past they were using 2G, 3G technology. And the challenge to address this market is really uh, to have people that they are able to take a chip and build the solution to, to connect their devices. And uh, the, having a module is really uh, 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 improving the go-to-market, accelerating, I will say, the, the, the adoption of this technology. So this is what we had in mind on our side. Obviously, we played with Module Maker. Uh, so we have some module partner. Uh, one of them is Thales, uh, who acquired Gemalto. Uh, but in addition to this, we realized that a lot of customers and partners, uh, they wanted to have Sequence giving them a full combined solution, comprehensive solution, a module. Uh, where we control the technology from A to Z and help them to build their product. So for this reason, we decided to bring to the market our own modules, uh, supporting our customers. At the same time, we didn't uh, forget that the value of Sequence is really the chip behind it. So the most interesting piece for us is really to sell the chip, and the module is really a go-to-market strategy. Okay, great. So... You've recently established partnerships with um, leading uh, microcontroller unit companies, Microchip and um, NXP. Um, what's the status of these partnerships and when will your joint solutions uh, with integrated MCUs come to market? Well, we, we, we started sampling something in the announcement already. We have an EVK where uh, uh, the two technologies are combined when you have the software integrated and already some customers are playing with this. We are going to see soon in the third quarter more around this with the customer, some customer adoption about this. Uh, again, this is part of the strategy to access this massive IoT. Uh, the microcontroller partners, they sell around 20 billion microcontroller per year. And when you think about an IoT device, an IoT device starts with a microcontroller plus sensors. And all that you want to do is to connect this device. And to connect, obviously, you can use... Uh, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, but a lot of those devices, they need uh, uh, one connection uh, through cellular. And for us, it was it's, it's really very important to partner with this ecosystem uh, and be the guy helping the NXP, the microchip, but not only those guys as well, ST, other guys that we are working with, uh, to give them the cellular solution that they don't have and enable them to provide comprehensive solution. This partnership obviously can develop depending with uh, which partner, to go more tighter, to bring maybe combined chip together, maybe, uh, you know, more integrated solution together to the market. Uh, obviously, all this is under NDA with uh, every specific partner. But for us, the strategy is that bring this technology to those partners, help them attacking the market and connect all those MCU. And for us, it's like becoming the arm of the MCU world uh, how, how ARM is bringing an IP to those microcontroller guys to build the solution. Sequence, we see ourselves the ARM of cellular, if you want, bringing the cellular technology to all those partners that they want to compete with guys that they have the cellular, but they don't have the cellular themselves. Okay, sounds good. Um, what is Monarch Go, um, the solution that you've developed for Verizon? Um, what's unique about it and how will it accelerate IoT deployment? This is, again, you know, we are really in the same line of accelerating massive IoT, address this fragmented market, give solution to people that they don't know how to build a cellular technology altogether from chips. We give them module, but we felt like there is another step for smaller guy. You have a lot of people uh, take connected printer, uh, take, you know, they build, they want to build 10,000 device. If you ask those guys to take a module, uh, build all the solutions, software, antenna, go and certify this technology with the carrier and spend half a million dollars for certification to sell only 10,000 device, 
you will find that the ROI will never work with those guys. So that's why we decided to bring a more comprehensive solution which what that we call Monargo, where essentially we have everything inside. We have the technology, the module, the chip, plus the antenna, uh, and plus the SIM and the data plan. So the guys now, all they have to do is to buy this box and just, just add the power. You add the power on this device, and suddenly your device is connected. You can, you can bring a connected device in less than one hour to make it production ready. And obviously, if you are building 10,000 units a year, 20,000 units, maybe 50,000 units a year, this is an ideal solution because it costs you zero R&D, and you can go straight forward to the market. And if you have larger volume, you start optimizing the solution, then you can use the module or the chip to make more integrated solution in your product. So we did this with Verizon. We launched it with Avnet. Avnet, they distribute this. And I can say that this Monargo is now expanding beyond the U.S. We have traction in Europe, in Japan, with other carriers, partner of Verizon, by the way, with whom in the future we, we will be giving them similar solution to those markets outside of the U.S. Great. So how is uh, Sequence addressing massive IoT? And when I speak of massive IoT, I mean that uh, as opposed to broadband and critical IoT. Yeah, I mean, you know, Sequence, we are playing in what we call IoT in Sequence is everything uh, except smartphone, if you want. And what we do is, in reality, when you look to this consolidation in the industry, uh, if you add to this as well the color of China, US, uh, all what's happening, the sensitivity of 5G, it puts Sequence in a very unique position uh, here to build the product optimized for IoT, not for smartphone. Uh, and, And here, as we said, we have... Massive IoT segment were all about power and cost. Uh, and the challenge there is really the go-to-market. And you have the broadband IoT, critical IoT, where it's all about speed and feature. Uh, there is less challenge in terms of go-to-market because here you are addressing uh, projects with millions of units each time. So the investment in R&D is easy to do. While when you play on massive IoT, uh, you need really to find uh, an easy go-to-market like what we explained, the Monarch Go, the partnership with the MCU, all the module architecture and the distributor. So these are the components, you know, to address massive IoT, which is completely different from the way we do it with broadband IoT. Okay, so can you tell me more about Sequon's 5G strategy and uh, when will your first uh, 5G chips and modules be introduced? You know, when when we talk about 5G, uh, 5G, you start talking about 5G when... For the massive IoT, this is really about the new releases of the 3GPP. And already Sequence is something today 5G ready for LTM and BIoT. This is our Monarch 2, Monarch N solution. They are 5G ready. We are working as well on the category one of the IoT 5G ready as well. But obviously, we invested a lot. And recently, in November last year, we had a big partner with whom we signed a deal, more than $35 million uh, NRE. Uh, funding to Sequence to help us accelerating the high-end 5G. This is our platform, Torus. We call this Torus, which is essentially provide a solution for fixed wireless access for industry 4.0, uh, for all computing devices, uh, but with enabling uh, 5 gigabit per second plus, and obviously new radio as well, high-end 4G fallback. Uh, so this is the chip that we are investing in since last year. We expect to bring... Uh, uh, this chip to market, I mean, maybe some engineering sample late next year uh, or beginning 2021, uh, 22, sorry. And from there, we'll be in mass production towards uh, the second half of 2022. Uh, and we expect to go to customer uh, and start generating revenue in 2023. Great. Thanks very much, George. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure for me, George, as well. Thank you very much.